Lithium is the lightest metal on the planet, but its impact on humankind has been truly remarkable. From the batteries that power our phones to altering our very mood. And we've been taking it for centuries. This is the short history of lithium. Thanks to our friends at ABC Radio Nationals, all in the mind. The discovery that it could treat bipolar disorder was made by Australian doctor John Cade in the 1940s for what was then called manic depression. Today, it's still considered the gold standard treatment. When it works, it's extraordinarily effective. It really turns people's lives around. Lithium reduces suicide drastically. Hundreds of thousands globally who otherwise um, might have um, suicided People who'd been in mental hospitals for decades were able to go home and to rejoin their families, to go back to work. But even before the connection was made between lithium and mood, people were already drinking the lightest metal of the periodic table. It's found naturally in nearly all rocks as well as soil and still bodies of water. Serratus of Ephesus, an MD from the second century, prescribed uh, mineral waters actually for people who were manic and had other psychiatric problems. But even though these mineral baths were widely used, it wasn't clear that they contained lithium until the latter half of the 19th century. By then it was big business. Lithium was seen as something of a cure-all and it turned Lithia Springs, Georgia into a booming health retreat. People came in the late 19th century from all over the country to bathe in those springs because of the lithium in there. If I remember correctly, there was a train that went directly from New York City to Lithium Springs, Georgia. Presidents went down there, Theodore Roosevelt, McKinley, and they also made a big point of taking bottled water from the springs back home with them and would drink it. It was a phenomenon in Australia too. Water from Helladon Spa near Brisbane began being bottled in the 1800s, but the springs had a place in the dream time, with traditional owners calling them Gunil Gung, meaning water from the moon. It was even in the original recipe of the soft drink 7up when it was launched by Charles Grigg in 1929. Back then it was called Bib Label Lithiated Lemon Lime Soda and contained lithium citrate, an ingestible salt form of the metal. It was sold as a slenderizing health drink that could cure hangovers and over worrying. In the 30s, Grigg changed the name to 7up, but if you ever disclosed where the name came from, it was never made public. But some speculate the atomic weight of lithium could have been the inspiration. By the 1940s, people in the US were ingesting various lithium products in dangerous quantities, and several deaths were recorded, leading to a nationwide ban. It took until 1970 for lithium to be given approval by the US Food and Drug Administration to allow it for use in manic depression. Nearly 30 years after the first trials, Dr John Cade recorded this conversation with one of his original patients mentioned in his 1949 paper. What difference? has lithium made to your life? I'd say it's made this difference. It's absolutely dropped every aggressive feeling that I ever had. Yes. Hey, well, yes. There's no such thing as mania. If you want to hear more about the remarkable story of lithium, head to the All in the Mind podcast on the ABC Listener or wherever you get your podcasts.